Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. Uh, thanks for coming along today. I'm just going to make a few introductory remarks and Minister Jackson will say a few things and then we'll happily take your questions. Just note that Minister Woods isn't with us today. She was at the vaccine announcement and Auckland is making her way back uh, to, to Wellington right now. Uh, I'm delighted today to be able to announce the resolution to the dispute at Ihimato. Uh, firstly, I want to thank a number of people. In particular, I want to thank uh, the Māori King and the Kingitanga movement uh, for their support for this process. We would not have been able to reach a resolution unless that had happened. Uh, I want to thank all of the parties involved in the negotiations. This has been complex. It has been a challenging environment, not only for uh, mana whenua, but for Fletchers and also for the Crown. And the fact that we have been able to come to this resolution is a tribute to the patience of all of those people involved. I want to give special thanks to my Māori caucus colleagues, uh, represented here today by Minister Jackson, who have played an incredibly important role in helping us get to where we are today. I do want to acknowledge Fletchers as well. Uh, on the 26th of July 2019, they agreed to down tools at the site um, to be able to work through a process like this. It has taken a long time to get here, and they have shown a great degree of patience as well. Uh, as we look forward from here, the process will begin now with a Kingitanga-led process with the Ahika to determine who exactly is involved from that perspective uh, within what's called the Rōpū Whakahaere, which is the group that will also include the Crown and the Kingitanga and Auckland Council as an observer, who will then decide by consensus what the final use of the land is. So it's a two-stage process, beginning, beginning with a Kingitanga-led process and then moving into the work of the Rōpū Whakahaere. That work will focus on housing, and the government has purchased this land under the Land for Housing programme. It is our intention that the kind of housing that would be developed there would be what we would describe as a sensitive housing solution. So that would be potentially papakainga housing, housing for kaumatua and kuia from, uh, from the ahika, and also potentially some public housing as well. There's also scope within this agreement to be able to recognise the cultural and heritage significance of the site in terms of its usage as well. The final outcome of that is what the Rōpū Whakahare will work together uh, to decide. This is an innovative and unique solution for these unique circumstances, uh, but I believe it is the right thing to do. We had a situation that was uh, on its way to being my generation's bastion point, and I was not prepared, and the government was not prepared to stand uh, to the side and allow what could have been a very divisive and destructive period of time to happen. So I believe we've come up with a solution that is appropriate to the circumstances of this whenua. It is, it is something where we have involved as many of those who have an interest as possible. There is still some time to go in this process, but ultimately it will lead, I believe, to an enduring solution which engages all of the people who need to be engaged in this particular piece of land. Um, yesterday, uh, I, uh, myself and the Prime Minister spoke with um, uh, the King, King Tuhei Tia, who has uh, really shown some leadership over this uh, kaupapa. So we were really pleased that he, him and uh, Tainui are incredibly supportive of this uh, solution and, and this strategy. For us as a Māori caucus and Māori ministers, this is a a really major uh, a kaupapa. A number of us have been working on this at ground level for the last 12 months and so uh, we've been complementing the work that uh, Minister Robinson has been doing in terms of the negotiations. Some of us have had to work on the ground uh, with, uh, particularly with Makoto Marae and it's been tough but I'm really pleased that they've been able to come together. So it, it's, uh, it's just, a, a, in our view, a wonderful sort of resolution uh, well, we're not, we're not, it's not a total resolution, but we're on the path. Uh, we're on the right path now. So I just wanted to say uh, how pleased the, pleasing it is for us as, as a Māori caucus because there has been some criticism of us with regards to this kaupapa that we've been too slow, etc., etc. Uh, but I think we've got there. So thanks to Kingitanga, the King, and in particular to Minister Robinson and, of course, our Prime Minister who intervened in the first place. Kia ora. Kia ora.